Welcome to the President's Diary, where we take a look at His Excellency, Dr. Mohamed Irfan Ali's week of activities. His Excellency started this week by attending the 77th United Nations General Assembly high-level week. He affirmed that increased investments in the education sector is one way government intends to transform the education system. As part of our efforts to revamp the education system, the government will increase education expenditure to 20% of the national budget and 6% of the country's gross domestic product, thereby ensuring adequate and sustainable financing for education. His Excellency said to tackle the global food crisis, the export ban on rice and wheat must be removed. The question is, what are we going to do about this? Can the reversal of export ban on rice and wheat and freeing up of grains help the situation? The answer is a resounding yes. With the global import bill projected to increase by $51 billion, countries must act now to determine what the next steps would be. As world leaders, we must find the balance now. In honoring our commitment to promote peace, stability, respect, for territorial integrity and democracy and the human rights for all. We must work collectively to prevent situations that can widen inequality and create social and economic havoc. Now is the time for us to decide if a new approach is needed to guarantee food security, energy security, climate security, access to health care and quality education and security from conflicts and wars. To achieve the widespread growth, government will be embarking on a slew of initiatives. To achieve balanced growth and sustainable and resilient development for Guyana, our strategies must focus on developing a diversified economic base, strengthen our, ag our agricultural and food production system, human resource transformation, investing in the social sector to deliver world-class health, education, and housing for all our people, ensuring an inclusive and equitable society in which prosperity is enjoyed by all. President Dr. Mohamed Irfanali has outlined the many investment opportunities in Guyana, pointing to the country's advantageous geographic position that facilitates trade, transport and logistics. Speaking at a round the table and luncheon hosted by the America's Society, Council of Americas in New York, Dr. Ali said his government is building an economy for 2030 and beyond with heavy investments in health and education, ecotourism, capacity building, agriculture and human resource development. While speaking to the diaspora in Queens, New York, his Excellency said the One Guyana Initiative aims to put Guyana first. Guyana is not a phrase, a slogan, or pieces of words. One Guyana requires action, commitment. It requires a fulfillment of every single one of us joining collectively to pushing one thing forward, Guyana. I am not asking anyone to be PPP, APNU, whatever, PNC. All I'm asking for in the one Guyana construct is for all of us to put Guyana first and do what is right in positioning Guyana first. President Ali also met with the diaspora in Florida where he affirmed that the elections laws must be updated. You cannot build a country if there is no political stability. We can't go through the same stress every single election. Therefore, the laws governing elections must be strengthened to bring justice and put those who are against democracy and the will of the people, the rule of law, behind bars. There must be accountability in the system. There must be transparency in the system. The future, future generation of Guyanese must not inherit this problem. 
There must be individual efforts in putting Guyana first and working towards a prosperous and united Guyana. And once we are able to understand that our country should be first and our efforts should lead to position our country first, then we will rid ourselves of the selfish desires that bar us sometimes from putting our country first. The president noted that the country must be built on a system that promotes peace and dignity and is embodied in the constitution. We cannot claim to love the country and at the same time find it convenient, find it convenient not to abide by the rule of law or to respect constitutional rule or to respect and honor democracy and the rights of people and the will of the people. Those are principles and values we must never sacrifice. And if together we all agree that these are principles and values that are paramount to anyone, any individual, any system, whether political system or political party, we are standing on these values that will support the future and the country we want to build, then we are 75% there. Dr. Ali also attended the Development Bank of Latin America Dialogue on Food Security. In the Caribbean, this is our greatest problem. No transportation system to move food across the region. We have to fix it. Where is investment coming from? Many countries in the region will tell you that the cost of moving a container in the last two years, in some cases, increased by a thousand percent. So it is not only the availability of fertilizer and the access to fertilizer, it is the movement of fertilizer and the cost of moving fertilizer. And it's a perfect storm because all of these constraints are hitting us at the same time. Dr. Ali also joined the international community in celebrating International Day of Peace 2022. He said, and I quote, On this International Day of Peace, Guyana pledges its support for efforts to rid the world of the scourge of racism. We condemn the purveyors of racial superiority and racial prejudice as much as we denounce those who manipulate race for their own selfish designs, including fomenting hatred and division. Peace must be premised on not only the absence of conflict, but also on the rejection of those practices which poison social harmony and create mistrust and division. As such, Guyana calls on all to rebuff those bent on spreading racial discord. End of quote. Dr. Ali met with the Director General of the Food and Agriculture Organization, where he discussed a number of projects Guyana has embarked on, including food security. The Director General commended the President on the alignment of Guyana's policies to several of FAO's strategic areas. The President was accompanied by Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Hugh Todd, Permanent Representative of Guyana to the UN, Ambassador Carlin Rodriguez, Foreign Secretary Robert Prasad, and the Director of Projects at the Office of the President, Marcia Nadir Sharma. Dr. Irfan Ali met with the Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres, at the UN headquarters in New York. The meeting focused on the current global crisis and the strategies implemented by President Ali's government to address various challenges, including rising fuel prices and the climate change. After returning home, President Ali visited the National Stadium Providence and backed the local team who triumphed over St. Lucia Kings. He also spoke of the importance of Cricket Carnival. We are committing to not only CPL and, uh, and, and, and the cricket here, but we are, cricketing, we are committing to something much larger for the region, and that is creating a new product, Cricket Carnival, bringing our people, our culture and cricket together in developing a strong product that can compete globally. Well, what you can look forward to exactly uh, what you're getting. Great cricket. All the matches so far here had close uh, finishes. But more importantly, you're going to see the coming together of our regional culture. We have a very strong culture in the region. We have a high, par uh, high temperature parties. And we're bringing that together with our people 
to present a platform where we celebrate culture, celebrate food, celebrate music, celebrate sport in one package. It's much more than a game for us. It's, it's a part of who we are as a nation now. You know, many times you guys refer to it as a warrior nation, and that has a strong meaning for us as a people. This game brings, we are, we are a country with great diversity. This great game brings all our people together to celebrate in one venue under one umbrella, and that is huge for us. So this franchise, not only this game, but bringing home the victory tonight and going on to the final is very important for us as a country and a people. Dr. Ali also attended the CPL 10th anniversary dinner. CPL is something different. It is the differentiated product that we bring to the global scene. That is why even the commentators play a magnificent role in this product. It is not the boring commentary that you will hear around the world. It is commentary that describes the fans, the flavor, the music, the style, the dance, the moves. You have to be special to be a commentator in CPL. And I want us to put our hands together for all those who have been in this commentary. Really, the truth is you have to be special to be part of this region. And the CPL team must know that they are a special group to be part of this region. Because what this region offers, sometimes people look at this region, Caribbean region, and they say, we are a small market. We are a small market, but we have produced global goods. And most of our global success comes from our people. Their passion, their love, their commitment, their drive, their flavor, and just a different way of making life better. Now this has been the President's Diary, where we took a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohamed Irfan Ali's week of activities. Thank you for watching and do join us again next week.